Is buying now catching a falling knife? Hey everybody, Scott Walters. Buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. Good one to unpackage today is buying right now. If you were to go out and buy a property right now, this is a tough one, right? Very tough. Whew, insanity. I did this in 08. If you were to go buy right now, would you be catching a falling knife? Whoo, nobody wants to catch a falling knife. And if you do, there's some things we got to talk about today that are going to protect you. My job is to protect you. Hopefully, your job is to help me help others get protected too. Simply by giving the video a like, subscribing the channel, leaving a comment below. Our rewards in life are in direct proportion to our contribution. You can contribute simply by doing that, my friends. So thank you for being iron sharpens iron and all my ninjas in the comments reporting all those spammers shame 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 you spammer bot scams in there insane so many scams and that's one thing you have to understand and i know most of you do i'm preaching to the choir i understand that and so many issues we're temperature checking and heat mapping the real estate industry but we have so many things that could come out of left field and just take this whole conversation into something different overnight but what's going to happen moving forward, my friends, is the economy grinds to or churns to a grinding halt. More scams, more spams. I mean, my emails sifting through them is insane. Spam filters, inboxing, and your social media. My gosh, insanity. Everybody wants something. Everybody's trying to sell or get in your pocket or sell. It's insane. So that's what happens when, when people get desperate. The scammers come out. Whew. Back to our topic, friends. Catching a falling knife. If you're to buy a property today, you might be catching a falling knife tomorrow. Now, there's a couple things I really want to communicate today. We're going to take a look at a property, courtesy of one of you, a subscriber, that to help drive our point home I think will be fun. We're going to travel to a part of the country that had a lot of migration in during the crisis, but now that's over. And their real estate is showing some blowback. Don't necessarily get hurt when you buy at the wrong time. You get hurt when you sell at the wrong time. We're going to look at a property right now that, you know, they started their pursuit to get sold in the euphoria. And they didn't do it. They didn't successfully execute chasing the market, right? We all know that. We all know that as an agent. As a salesman, I know the only way to get somebody sold in any market is to price right. Now, there's never been a more important time in history to find out who, your, who the competition is and beat them. You got to give people a reason to get over to the property. So depending on the condition and the property itself makes it very, very, very complex. And that's where I come in to help people. And you come in by helping me do that. But the realities are this, friends. There's a good chance you could be, in fact, catching a falling knife if you were to buy right now. And that's why most people are going to be paralyzed with fear, stuck on the sidelines. And that's why our job, hopefully, is to recondition our minds. So if and when a deal is looking us in the face, we strike. Now, the property that we're going to look at today, um, we're just going to scratch the surface. We're not going to dive, dive too deep in. But we're going to talk about, you know, some of the things that we can do moving forward. You can help yourself, others, your friends, family, loved ones, kids, whoever. Moving forward, we got to understand. We need to understand the right lens to look through. If and when we decide we're going to look at property, and we all know it starts with an agent who's willing to put your needs before their own. Good luck with that one. <laughs> Email in the description below if I if you need help with a high-level agent. Whew. <laughs> I laugh at myself as I unpackage these videos for you guys. Love you guys. Now, let's go ahead and move into today's feature property, courtesy of one of you, a subscriber. Then we'll meet back here to wrap it up. Let's get started. All right, buckle up and strap in. Our subscriber writes, look at the price drops on this one. Was Investor Home fully paid? Looks like they missed the party last year, listing it in June for $725,000. Seven price drops on a new build, $145,000 in total now. And on its second pending offer, curious to see if it falls through this time. Sellers are being stubborn. Well, let's jump over to the property and take a look. Thanks for sending this one in.
Right, let's take a drive over to today's property in Cape Coral, Florida. Let's bring up our crash map courtesy of our friends over at Zillow. Now let's bring up our featured property and take a little peek around and here we go. Brand new construction doing what? You guessed it, sucking air, empty, staged, trying to be a FOMO factory. Unfortunately, if we're not priced right, no amount of FOMO is gonna work in this market. Let's jump in to some of the information and the numbers. And the description reads, looking for a brand new, never lived in home? You found it. Well, let's see if we found it or if we found a falling knife. Uh-oh, what do we have here? The property is pending at $579,000, but let's check out some of its behavior. Uh-oh, our buyer might have just caught a falling knife. Price reduction, after price reduction, after price reduction, after price reduction. But wait, it gets better or worse, depending on how you're looking at it. Let's look a little further. Our subscriber was right. This property came on in the sevens and now is in the fives and just trending the opposite direction. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So there you go, Cape Coral, Florida, a beautiful area. I would retire. I'm in California, which is beautiful too, but a lot of these states are not a different video. I would love <laughs> I would love to live in Florida. Great place, Cape Coral, beautiful. Um, would be willing to live there. That property, though, is in massive trouble on a couple things. Now, congratulations, they got it pending again. For the second time, <laughs> like our subscriber, I don't know if it said it. We'll see if they if they fall out again. But can you? Ma I would be much happier if I was my subscriber or his, or his friend who wrote an offer to make that thing stick in the fives, and I didn't buy it in the sevens. Insane. And the seller, investor, for sure. That thing's they're paying to have staging sit in that home for how long now? Like a year? Stage is not free. You got to pay a staging company every month that goes unsold is just squashing your profit margins. You have projected to pull in the sevens. You're now under contract in the fives. Whew. The estimated payment on that property is approximately about three grand a month at what they went under contract at, at today's interest rate. Now, it didn't show its rent range, but if that property would rent for four grand, no brainer, as long as your payment at today's interest rate with a standard amount down shows it as a cash flowing property, then you don't have to worry about the falling knife effect anymore because it, the purchase price isn't as, isn't as or important anymore because it's income generating property so even if it was your primary home to know oh hey it's not a rental but i know it's costing me less to own than its estimated rent range that's why we always check rent range rent rent ranges and that's why in fact it's so important to understand this is the right way to look at properties moving forward. You're going to sleep much better at night knowing that your house has the ability to rent out if you ever want to turn it into a rental. So like I said, if you want to avoid catching a falling knife, that's the only thing in my opinion that I'm looking for right now. What's my cost to own? What's its rent range even if it's not a rental? If you own your home, you should always know what your property's rent range. Most people don't. As an investor, it's just the way I'm geared. But as a real estate professional designed to help people, it's now all I really want to do is continue to drive these points home to protect people as much as I can. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history is reverse course. We just looked at a property today. That's reverse course. Now it's examining properties. Every local market is going to be different. They're all going to behave differently. Every single property will have its own level of motivation of getting sold. That's why I say, always say, never fall in love with anything. Test it with a good real estate professional looking between the lines, re reading between the lines and looking between the cracks to examine days of market price reductions. Test it with an offer. Walk if you have to, to the next one. Don't fall in love with anything. As soon as you fall in love with it, 
they got you. My job's to protect you, and I'm going to continue to do it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top-rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.